2017 Mini Cooper Clubman Review The 2017 Mini Clubman should appeal to buyers because of its terrific passenger space, above the average cargo space, smooth ride, and athletic driving experience. However, the Clubman gets poor gas mileage for the class, and its price tag is significantly higher than nearly every class rival. New for 2017 No major changes Pros and cons Quiet, well-built cabin Spacious seats Energetic turbocharged engines Good cargo capacity Poor fuel economy Yes, the Mini Clubman is a good car. It has a spacious interior, and both rows of seats are roomy and supportive. The Clubman has better cargo capacity than many other subcompact cars. As you might expect based on the Mini name, the Clubman is agile and handles winding roads with poise. There are three engine choices, and while they are generally potent, they aren't efficient. In fact, the Clubman is one of the least fuel-efficient cars in the class. Well, if you're not overly concerned about your budget and are looking for a fun tow-drive car with plenty of passenger and cargo space, then the 2017 Clubman is right in your wheelhouse. However, for most subcompact buyers, the Clubman's price tag alone is reason enough not to buy it. It's one of the most expensive cars in the class, several thousand dollars more than any non-mini competitor. Competitors can provide the same stuff you like about the Clubman. The Honda Fit has better cargo space and gas mileage. The Ford Fiesta is athletic and offers tech features the Clubman doesn't. And the Mini Cooper hardtop is like a smaller, more athletic Clubman with a lower price tag. Researching cars is a lot of work, so why not let the experts here at do it for you? We strive to provide all of the information you want in every one of our reviews, and we do extensive research to gather that data. For this overview, we analyzed 12 pieces of research about the 2017 Mini Clubman, including crash test results, fuel economy estimates, and other professional reviews. The 2017 Mini Cooper Clubman gets decent power from its base turbocharged three-cylinder engine, and there are two available turbocharged four-cylinder engines that give the Clubman an energetic feel. Gas mileage isn't great for the class, and the Clubman requires premium gasoline, which only expands the gap between fuel costs in the Clubman and what you'd pay to refill class rivals. The Clubman is nimble and has accurate steering, and most people will enjoy driving it. Over most roads, the ride is smooth and quiet. The Mini Clubman comes standard with a 1.5-liter three-cylinder engine that puts out 134 horsepower. There are two more powerful engine options, but you have to step up in trim level to get them. The Cooper S Clubman features a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 189 horsepower, and the John Cooper Works Clubman features a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder that puts out 228 horsepower. A six-speed manual transmission comes standard, and six- and eight-speed automatic transmissions are available, depending on which engine you get. The base Clubman gets an EP estimated 25 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the highway. In the Cooper S Clubman, those ratings drop to 22 miles per gallon in the city and 31 on the highway. Regardless of which engine you choose, the Clubman gets poor fuel economy for the class. The Clubman also requires premium gasoline making every trip to the gas station a double whammy. The 2017 Mini Cooper Clubman has excellent material quality throughout the cabin, and the interior is well isolated from outside noise, so you won't have to shout when conversing with passengers. 
Modern styling gives the clubman's cabin an appealing look. Whether you sit up front or in the back, you'll find the clubman's seats comfortable, spacious, and supportive. That roominess extends to the cargo hold, as the clubman has a maximum cargo capacity of nearly 48 cubic feet, an outstanding total for the class. The clubman has plenty of tech features, though some optional features in the clubman are standard in competitors. The clubman's dash is smartly arranged, making it easy to see and use the controls for tech functions. The clubman seats 5 and comes standard with leather et upholstery and 6-way adjustable front seats. Leather upholstery, heated front seats, sport front seats with extra bolstering and an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat with memory settings are available. Inside, the clubman looks and feels spacious. Both rows of seats have ample room for adult occupants. Drivers will have no trouble finding a comfortable position, and the front seats remain supportive even over longer drives. The rear seats have plenty of head and legroom, and unlike many other cars in the class, three people can sit in the back seat without feeling claustrophobic. There are two full sets of latch connectors in the Clubman. There's plenty of room for most types of car seats, though you may have to move the front seats up a bit to fit rear-facing car seats. Car seats are easily installed, it doesn't take much force to attach a car seat to any of the anchors, and the lower anchors are easy to find. The tether anchors are clearly labeled, so there's little chance that any other hardware will be confused for them. Available features include navigation, a power moonroof, a 12-speaker Harman Kardon stereo, adaptive cruise control, satellite radio, wireless device charging, an 8.8-inch touchscreen, a rear-view camera, a head-up display, rear parking sensors, and automatic parallel park assist. Thank you.